I'm Dr. Frida. High blood pressure is a leading cause of heart disease, strokes, kidney disease, and it is very, very prevalent in the United States. Yet, over half the people who have high blood pressure do not have it under control. Why? Because they don't know which foods to avoid. So today I'm going to give you 15 foods to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Keep watching. I am a board certified nephrologist, meaning I specialize in kidney disease and in high blood pressure. And so this is my wheelhouse. This is what I talk about to patients day in and day out. Also, I have a book, Under Pressure, A Guide to Controlling High Blood Pressure. Be sure to click the link in the description so that you can purchase this book to further help you on your journey with high blood pressure. But let's start here. Let's start with the foods. There are so many foods that are delicious and rich and that they're in our everyday lives, but they could be contributing to high blood pressure. And so if you have high blood pressure, or if you have a loved one who has high blood pressure, please, please listen up because I'm going to give you 15 foods to avoid if you have high blood pressure. All right, let's get started. Number one, canned food. Well, canned foods tend to have a lot of sodium. Why? Because it's a preservative. It helps to give them a, a longer shelf life. Well, if you have high blood pressure, high sodium is exactly what you don't want to have. According to the American Heart Association, people with high blood pressure should have less than 1,500 milligrams of sodium a day. Some of the kidney organizations say you can have 2,000 milligrams of sodium a day. And USDA says 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day. But again, dealing with high blood pressure, heart disease, it's recommended that you have less than 1,500 milligrams of sodium a day. Keep that number in mind. So let's talk about canned foods. I purposely brought out vegetables, you know, something that tends to be healthy because some people think that as long as they're eating a vegetable, even if it's in a can, that it's okay. Not so. So let's look at this can of diced tomatoes, right? Tomatoes are pretty healthy. Well, one serving has 180 milligrams of sodium. Hmm, maybe not so bad. But guess what? This one little old can is considered to have 3.5 servings. So if you multiply that out, 180 milligrams times 3.5, one can of diced tomatoes, 630 milligrams of sodium a day. So already it's about half of the daily limits. So that's something you want to avoid. Now, how about some corn? Some creamed corn, right? People like corn. Corn, it's a vegetable, kind of. Well, one serving has 340 milligrams of sodium. Again, there are three and a half servings in this can, so they say. So multiply that out, 340 times 3.5, you're at 1,190 milligrams of sodium if you eat this whole can of corn, which many people do, and they think they're doing something like a meal replacement. So again, a uh, food that you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure, that's a lot of sodium. And it goes on and on and on. Even if you're having a larger can, like right here, of some vegetables, seasoned green beans. Well, one serving is 590 milligrams of sodium. Now already, you can hear that already sounds like a lot. But if you look at this can of seasoned green beans, one can has 6.5 servings. And so you multiply that out and you have over 3,000 milligrams of sodium in just one large can of seasoned green beans. So one food you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure, canned foods. Now, being realistic, a lot of times people don't have the money to get fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and they have to have canned goods. So what do you do? You want to pour off the salty water and then pour in some fresh water and let it sit to help to get rid of some of the sodium if you have to have canned foods. Everything in moderation, but in general, if you have high blood pressure, canned foods is a food you want to avoid. Number two, deli meats. Yes, deli meats. You know, we think about things like deli turkey as being healthy, but let's talk about deli meats as a food you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Deli meats and other processed meats have nitrites, and a lot of these foods, these deli meats, will have up to 600 milligrams of sodium in just one serving. And so if you look at this deli turkey, and a lot of y'all have seen turkey like this, and you think, oh, it's a healthy choice for a sandwich. Well, one serving has 500 milligrams of sodium. But what's a serving? two ounces. And y'all know good and well, if you make a sandwich, you do more than two ounces of turkey. And so say you double that up, you've got 
1,000 milligrams of sodium. Or really, if you get three times as much, which sounds more like it, like it you have 1,500 milligrams of sodium. And so you really want to watch the deli meats. And then salami. Again, one serving of salami is this much. Okay, five slices. And a lot of people eat more than that in one serving. Well, one serving of the salami has 450 milligrams of sodium. Now, take that and add it to a sandwich where you have bread, you have cheese, you might have pickles, you might have mayonnaise and other condiments. Well, now you're really increasing the sodium and you're increasing some of the trans fats, some of the saturated fats. And so, again, everything in moderation. But in general, if you have high blood pressure, you want to watch these deli meats and this could be a food you want to avoid having an excess. Number three, pickles. Yes, pickles. Now, you know, a lot of folks love pickles. They like pickles plain. They like sour pickles. They like hot pickles, like pickles on their sandwiches. Okay, pickles. But guess what? Pickles can be a food you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. This is why. Now, a positive, let's be positive for a second. Pickles tend to have zero fat. They have zero or very low calories. So that's a positive. But let me tell you something. You've hit the mother load of sodium if you're eating a lot of pickles. So if you look at three medium pickles, they tend to have almost 3,000 milligrams of sodium. But let's just look at one pickle, okay? Let's look at one pickle. Okay, one, what is this, a sour pickle. One sour pickle, soaking in the juices. One sour pickle, one serving, has 300 milligrams of sodium. 300 milligrams of sodium, okay. So let's take a look at this pickle. Y'all know y'all seen these at the gas stations and the grocery store. So one serving has 300 milligrams. That doesn't, that doesn't seem so bad, right? But guess how many servings are in this one pickle? Five. You know, good and well, this pickle is not going to serve five people. So you multiply that out, 300 milligrams times five. This one pickle has 1,500 milligrams of sodium. You eat this pickle, you've already gone there with your whole day's worth of sodium. And so you have to pay attention, right? And so if you have high blood pressure, pickles are food you want to avoid. Number four, alcohol. Cheers, mm, but not so fast. Why? Because alcohol in excess can increase your blood pressure, exacerbate high blood pressure. So it's something you want to avoid in excess. Not only can it increase your high blood pressure, it can also in excess damage the walls of your blood vessels. Now, in order to learn just how much alcohol is considered to be reasonable, right? If you have high blood pressure, please make sure you check out my YouTube video, How to Lower Blood Pressure Naturally, after you finish watching this video. And when we talk about drinks, remember, a drink is not arbitrary. Drinks have definitions, okay? And so if you recommend to have one drink or less per day or two drinks or less per day, depending on if you're male, female, what's your age, the drinks have specific Definitions. For example, if we're dealing with wine, we're talking about five or eight ounces. That's considered a drink. Okay. If we're talking about something that is maybe a heavier, like an 80 proof liquor, then we're talking about 1.5 ounces of alcohol, right? You don't just pour a whole tumbler of, of dark liquor and say, Oh, it's one tumbler. That's one drink. No, there's a definition. And then if you're going to sit up there and have yourself a, Hey, you know, have yourself a beer. We're talking 12 ounces. That's one drink. And so again, make sure you check out that YouTube video. Also, I talk about it in my book, Under Pressure, A Guide to Controlling High Blood Pressure. Number five, condiments. Yes, the condiments are not just a free for all. You want to avoid certain condiments and certainly in excess if you have high blood pressure. So let's talk about some of these. Let's talk about mustard. Mustard is actually not so bad. So we'll start with this one. It's actually not so bad. One teaspoon of mustard only has 55 milligrams of sodium. Now, I know some of y'all are mustard lovers and you will mustard yourself up and down the streets, but just in general, be cognizant of how much you're doing. But really, mustard is something that's not so bad. So that's not really one I stress in avoiding. But let's talk about some of the other ones like ketchup, okay? Let's talk about ketchup. One tablespoon, one tablespoon of ketchup, it varies, but it can have 196 milligrams of sodium. Now you think about yourself when you're eating burgers and fries and you're squirting ketchup on all of your things and just dipping it like there is no tomorrow. You know good and well you're dealing with more than one tablespoon of ketchup. And so if you have two tablespoons, three tablespoons, five tablespoons, right? And even several times a day, it really adds up. And so if you have high blood pressure, watch that sodium and ketchup is a food you want to avoid in excess. That's a condiment you want to avoid. 
mayonnaise. Now mayonnaise for one tablespoon has about 95 milligrams of sodium, okay? 95 milligrams of sodium. But it also has 11 grams of fat in just one tablespoon. And again, if you're someone who's eating, you know, macaroni or pasta salad, or you're putting mayonnaise on your burgers or on your sandwiches, that fat can really add up. If you're someone who's eating a lot of fats, especially trans fat, saturated fats, that can lead to you being overweight or a person living with obesity, which of course will exacerbate high blood pressure. And so when you're dealing with condiments, mayonnaise is certainly something you want to avoid, especially in excess, but you really want to avoid it. How many of you have hot sauce in your bag, Sway? Mm -hmm. Well, hot sauce then is something you want to avoid. One teaspoon, not tablespoon, one teaspoon of hot sauce has 190 milligrams of sodium. And when's the last time you only used one little teaspoon of hot sauce? You can't tell me when because you know you use more. You get the hot sauce and you just dump it all over your fried fish. You dump it on your eggs. You dump it on your collard greens. You dump it on all kinds of things. and You don't think about it because you're like, oh, it doesn't have a lot of calories. And so you think it's a freebie. But if you have high blood pressure, hot sauce in your bag swag is something that you want to avoid. It's a condiment you want to avoid. Again, everything in moderation. Consult with your dietitians, consult with your physician, but you certainly want to be aware that these condiments can exacerbate high blood pressure if used in excess. But again, not so much the mustard. Number six, red meat. Ah, but you know, all red meats are not created equally. I'm specifically talking about marbled fatty red meats, such as a ribeye steak. And see, I purposely, I have this little raw ribeye here instead of having a nice, sizzling, delicious one to tantalize you. When you're looking at red meat, when you have something that's marbled and fatty and seasoned really well, like an 18 ounce ribeye, for example, or one of these cowboy ribeyes like they serve at restaurants, just one ribeye can be almost 1,200 calories. It can have 80 grams of fat. And again, if we're talking about trans fat, saturated fats, that's not good. There's no bueno. And sodium. Okay. When it's seasoned really well and you've got an 18 ounce steak, you can have almost 1200 milligrams of sodium. And so if you have high blood pressure, you want to avoid red meat, especially if it's marbled and fatty. Now, if you are going to have red meat, then you certainly want to consider something that's lean, like a lean sirloin, something without a lot of fat. And you want to cook it at home. You want to season it yourself where you're not using that sodium, okay? So another food to avoid, red meat, especially marbled steaks. Number seven, processed foods. If you have high blood pressure, you certainly want to avoid a lot of processed foods. They tend to be high in sodium, and, you know, this is something that helps to keep them preserved. So let's look at some, some processed foods here. Let's talk about them. Like cured meats, like bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Oh my gosh. Three slices of bacon can be almost 300 milligrams of sodium for those three slices and almost five grams of fat. And think about it. When you're sitting there eating on that old crispy bacon cooked just how you want to, you know, seasoned on your salads, on your BLT. A lot of people tend to eat more than just three slices even. And so that's something you want to avoid, especially in excess if you have high blood pressure. And when we look at hot dogs, okay, even a beef hot dog, even a beef kosher hot dog, such as these, just one hot dog has 790 milligrams of sodium, 790 milligrams of sodium. And so that's something you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Again, remember, according to the American Heart Association, if you have high blood pressure, you should be taking in less than 1,500 milligrams of sodium in a whole day, not just in one meal. What's something else that's, that's processed? Noodles. Oh my gosh. A lot of people love those noodles. You know, they are very inexpensive, very easy. You add that seasoning packet to them. Well, first of all, the noodles tend to be high in fat, especially saturated fats. And then that one little seasoning packet, that innocent looking little seasoning packet has over 1,500 milligrams of sodium in most cases. And so if you have high blood pressure, you just use that one pack and you've already surpassed your day's worth of sodium. And so processed foods are something you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Number eight, plant-based foods. Hmm. 
A lot of folks who are vegetarian just assume that as soon as they take on that lifestyle, that everything is all of a sudden 100% healthy. To be sure, being vegetarian and especially vegan is a heart healthy lifestyle, certainly much more healthy than eating a lot of animal fats and things of that nature. No question about it. But if you have high blood pressure, you still have to watch certain plant-based foods. Why? Because some will be loaded with sodium, which of course is not good for your blood pressure. So which ones am I talking about? I'm talking about some of the pre-packaged frozen vegetarian foods. You still have to watch the sodium content. So let's just take a look at these vegetarian choices over here. All right, first we have our vegetarian chicken nuggets, okay? That sounds pretty good, right? Vegetarian chicken nuggets. And one serving is 300 milligrams of sodium. Doesn't sound so bad, right? But what's a serving? A serving is four nuggets. Now, if you are a full grown person, or even if you're a growing child or a growing teenager, you know good and well you're gonna have more than these little four tiny nuggets, aren't you? So in four of these nuggets, that's 300 milligrams of sodium. Well, say you want eight nuggets or say you want a 12 piece of nuggets. Well, once you get to the 12 piece, you're already at 900 milligrams of sodium in one meal. And so you want to make sure you're careful. And if you're plant-based, you want to try to avoid having a lot of the prepackaged frozen plant-based foods. So then you have this corn dog, same thing. This is a vegetarian, it's a plant-based corn dog, all right? And one serving is 480 milligrams of sodium. But what's a serving? A serving is one corn dog. Do you see the size of this corn dog? You know, good and real. <laughs> Who's going to eat just one corn dog? I don't know. Not me. So if you have one corn dog, that's 480 milligrams of sodium. But what if you want two? What if you want three? Well, after two, you're already up to almost a thousand milligrams of sodium. If you go beyond that, you get the point. So even if you are plant based and doing the heart healthy thing, I commend you, but the pre-packaged frozen vegetarian meals, you have to watch the ones with high sodium because those are the ones you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Number nine, fast food. Now you already know, if you are a person with high blood pressure and you're around here smacking on fast food, cheeseburgers, fries, chicken tenders, fried cheese curds, I do not even have to go into detail. You know that if you have high blood pressure, especially these are foods that you need to avoid. But let's just take one large cheeseburger from a fast food place. One, 940 milligrams of sodium. And you know you don't eat the cheeseburger alone. You get yourself a large fry. Now you're dealing with almost 400 milligrams of sodium. And I haven't even gone into the soft drinks that are filled with sodium. And so if you have high blood pressure, and even if you don't, fast foods, that's something you want to avoid. Number 10, microwave meals. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the good old fashioned TV dinner? Yeah, people used to have TV dinners and they would get those little trays that you can take to the couch and sit in the TV room and put your little TV dinner there. TV dinners can be you know, a bit deceptive because they have their vegetables, even two vegetables in this case, they have your, your protein. And if you're not careful, you might mess around and think you're doing a healthy substitute, but you're not because if you have high blood pressure, these microwave meals with these TV dinners, there's something you want to avoid. Let's just take this one. We have corn. We have mashed potatoes. Yes, another starch. We have fried chicken. Mm -hmm. This, 1,190 milligrams of sodium. Yeah, that's a lot of salt. So it's something you want to avoid. But even for certain microwave meals that aren't so obvious, if you're someone who's trying to be low calorie and healthy, you might get yourself something that is you know really a smaller portion than that something that is packaged and advertised as being lean or you know weight friendly and it may have not so many calories but it could still have a lot of sodium 300 milligrams 400 milligrams just to be sure anytime you're dealing with frozen foods or microwaved meals you still want to watch the sodium and so microwaved meals okay especially ones loaded in sodium and in fats, like that microwave dinner, that's something that you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Number 11, high sodium snacks. High sodium snacks, like uh, chips, for example. Potato chips, now this, this can get you in trouble. You see these little tiny potato chips, they look like they're like, you know, pretty innocent, right? They're not that big, right? How much salt can they possibly have? 
up 250 milligrams in this little tiny bag that's half filled. So imagine if you're just sitting around and you're going through your child's lunchbox and you're like, oh, they left their chips. You're on the phone, you're not paying attention. You eat a little bag of chips, 250 milligrams of sodium. You eat another one because the conversation is good, it's getting juicy. Another 250 milligrams of sodium, right? So now that's 500 milligrams from just a high sodium snack or two. So if you have high blood pressure, trust me, high sodium snacks, it's something you want to avoid. Okay. I know I keep mentioning don't, don't, don't. That's what this whole video is about, right? Foods to avoid if you have high blood pressure. But make sure you check out my YouTube video on seven low sodium foods that can help to improve your heart health after you finish watching this video. Number 12, high sugar foods. You want to avoid a lot of high sugar foods if you have high blood pressure. And we've talked about it. If you have a lot of sugar, that can lead to you being a person who's overweight or a person living with obesity, which again can exacerbate high blood pressure. And so you know the things, you know the usual suspects. Having a lot of candy, you want to avoid it. Or donuts, you know, and other baked goods. And let's take a look at this donut. <sighs> Who doesn't love a good donut? And you know there are certain brands, ooh, especially when they make them fresh and hot, where the donuts are delicious. But guess what? Don't be fooled by this innocent looking donut. One donut can have over 300 calories. It can have over 40% fat. It can have over 50% carbs. And in general, especially if you have high blood pressure, it's just not your friend. And so high sugar foods in general, you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Number 13, frozen diet meals. I just want to reiterate, when you are dealing with foods that you think that just because they're low calorie, that they are healthy, you still want to pay attention because a lot of these frozen diet meals will be high in sodium. Just watch the label. Number 14, chicken noodle soup. Yeah, you know, haven't you heard it? Chicken noodle soup for the soul, or if you're sick, you get chicken noodle soup. But if you're dealing with canned chicken noodle soup, you want to avoid it, right? Because just one can of chicken noodle soup or some of the processed chicken noodle soups that are just sitting there with a who knows how long shelf life at the grocery store, one can or one bowl of this soup can be over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. And so if you have high blood pressure, then canned or processed chicken noodle soup is another food you want to avoid. Number 15, I would be remiss if I did not mention fried foods. You already know. If you investigate something fried that you are eating, you know that it is loaded with sodium, loaded with trans fats, loaded with saturated fats. And if you have high blood pressure, fried foods are something you simply want to avoid. So let's just take a look at chicken, right? We know that white meat tends to be a little healthier than dark meat. And so some people will think that if they are choosing to have white meat as their fried chicken, that they're doing a great thing. Well, let's just kind of break that thing down. If you have one fried chicken wing, that's 680 milligrams of sodium. If you have one fried breast, that's 1,230 milligrams of sodium. Are you starting to get the picture? I know you already have it. If you have high blood pressure, fried foods are something that you want to avoid. At this point, I've mentioned 15 foods you want to avoid if you have high blood pressure, but I'm just getting started. The list goes on and on. You probably have all kinds of questions. Well, if indeed you do, I want you to be sure that you check out my video on the top 21 questions I get asked most frequently by patients about high blood pressure. Watch that video, part one and part two, after you finish watching this video. If you found this video to be helpful and informative, please be sure to like it and to share it with the people you care about. Also, if you have not done so already, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be among the first to know when I'm releasing new content. And most certainly, be sure to order my book, under Pressure, A Guide to Controlling High Blood Pressure. You can get it on Amazon or you can go to my website, drfrida.com. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you for watching. And I want you to please be sure to do your best to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'm Dr. Frida.